Donating items to charity usually gives you a pretty good feeling, but not everything is in good enough shape to resell. Yeah, so a local veterans thrift store is shelling out thousands of dollars actually a month in landfill runs. Nicole Hernandez is live from the store now to explain how this is affecting their business. Good morning, Nicole. Yeah, good morning, guys. So it looks like the veterans thrift store here was actually able to make one of those those excuse me, a fly just landed on my foot, um, a landfill run here pretty recently. So there's actually not much junk sitting out right now. But take a look at this video that we got from back on Monday. You can see just how much trash is along their fence line and just sitting on their property from people donating. So the owner, Kevin Oxley, says they've been getting a lot more of this trash recently. Back when they first opened five years ago, Oxley said people were donating some decent stuff. But now he says 25 to 30 percent of what's getting donated he can't sell. He thinks that's because most other thrift stores in our area stopped taking donations during COVID, but Oxley didn't. He stayed open. Last month, Oxley spent almost $5,000 just to haul away the trash people tried to donate. That makes running his business hard because he also lets veterans shop for free here. He does have a partnership with an organization that will take overflow clothes and shoes, donating them to other countries, but Oxley says that's not enough. With all the new people that know about us, which is great because we serve more veterans and we serve the public better, but we're also getting a lot of the donations that people just would normally throw away. They use me for a dump. Yeah, so this here behind me is the dumpster that they actually fill up when they get this trash. You can see just how large it is, obviously very tall, also goes way far down. It's super long as well. They're filling these things up twice a week at each of their stores. They have two stores, one here at Havana and Sprague, one up closer to Joe Albee near the VA. And you can imagine that would cost a lot of money because every single time they have to take one of these full dumpsters to the, to the landfill, it costs them $700. So it definitely adds up for the business. Live in Spokane, I'm Nicole Hernandez.